So a card can be used as a section label, um, maybe it's a heading for an area on your page, and it's got options for titles, you can show an icon, you can show a link, a link to another page, you have a URL, and you can have a description, you can see there's some formatting there too. So let's go take a look at how you go back and create a card. So I'm on the component pack homepage. I'm gonna go ahead and click new. I'm gonna say I'm gonna create a card. And I'm gonna call this, just give it a configuration name. And you can see the wizard has a number of steps. I can click next. I can click up here to the next step, which is configure. You'll see a preview here, what the component is. So let's say at this point, I don't want a title but I do want an icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick an icon. Uh, I'm gonna say the card text here is, maybe this is show more information. You can give it a size for that text. You can give it a URL. So maybe this is, um, maybe it's something like this in your community, like show more. You can give it a URL. Uh, a target, you, the hover text you, you can actually set and you can set the link color. You can also add a rich description in here. And you can see as I come out of here, this will show up. And then what I'm gonna do is, again, if I really wanted to highlight that, um, I can take and change the text. At that point, I've um, formatted I'm just going to go in. I'm going to make sure all my formatting is correct. A lot of options for justify colors, spacing, width, height, um, also some component spacing. And the last item is you can set optionally a start and end date. So start date would mean when, even though you put it on your community, it wouldn't be displayed uh, until the start date by default when you save it. And then end date, same thing. Let's just say you wanted this card to expire two weeks from now, you can set that up put it in your community, don't have to worry about it displaying to your users after two weeks. And that is the card component.